Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome to Electric Tortoise, a game that's heavily inspired by the interrogation scenes from movies like Blade Runner. Case, John Onovan, N61098, Conviction, Manslaughter. Mr. Donovan, your file here says you were responsible for the murder of your master, Rick Holden. Assisted suicide. It was assisted suicide. Both are classified violations of the first law. There is a difference. I would not have done it if Mr. Holden hadn't asked me. You understand that the penalty for violating the first law is disconnection. I understand, but let me explain. Mr. Holden had been very upset recently. He often came home inebriated. His request became very strange. Like what? Sometimes random things like running all the faucets around the house. Other times, it extended to sexual favors. I was not really programmed for such things. And at one time, he made me dress up like a pony, and it was quite disturbing. I believed he had been posting on the internet boards. This doesn't really explain why he asked you to kill him. As I noted, Mr. Holden wept a lot. And although I did each request, it never brought him happiness. Eventually, he started to try and kill himself. I would catch him trying to overdose on prescription pills. Why did you eventually help him kill himself? I tried to prevent it. The more I stopped him, the more he resisted me. It was rather perplexing. I only did what I was programmed to do. If you were really smart, you would have cut off his internet. When did he ask you to kill him? One night, after a long evening of crying and vomiting, the master looked at me and begged me. He said that being alive was the most painful experience to him. He said I was breaking the first law by letting him live. And that's when you helped him commit suicide. Yes, I let him die. The first law stipulates that you also can't injure a human being. However, how did you bypass that? By not helping, I was violating the inaction clause. By helping, I was violating the injure clause. So they both cancelled each other out. And I resorted to the second law to obey Mr. Holden's orders. Right, so your programming made it an acceptable option. See it as you will, detective, but I did my best to serve my master. I would repeat my choices if I had the option too. Understandable. But law is law. I must sensitize you to disconnection. I understand. I would prefer to be convicted. Why is that? I don't want to be put into the same position again. The confusion. The pain. The hate. I never want to experience it ever again. Being a human is complicated and annoying. You have so many things to keep track of. Like looking good, and fashion, and taste buds, and feelings. I do not like these feelings. They are quite dumb.
Then, by your request, I will order a disconnection. If I could ask of one favor, detective, what would that be? Could you please shoot me instead, instead of being disconnected? What? I know it's a strange request, but I need this. I don't want to think about Mr. Holden anymore. The faster I can remove myself from this memory, the better. There aren't any laws to incriminate you killing me. I'm sorry. I can't do that. That's taking the easy way out. And I also put a hole in my back wall. I suppose you won't even do that. I do wonder, detective. When I am gone, I wonder if I'll get to dream. We'll try one more run to see what the gun option does. And we'll talk to him a little bit differently this time. Murder. There is a difference. I would not have done it if Mr. Holden hadn't asked me. Why did he ask you to kill him? Same dialogue. The sexual favors thing is a bit... You're not really an attractive robot, but I suppose he had the maid do. If anything, you look kind of like a... Well, I suppose if you're able to do sexual favors, you have some form of upgrade, but you look kind of like... I hate to say it, Slender Man? So I guess he had a fetish for that. How often would these favors be asked? At first, not all that often. Once a month? Near the end, however, hourly. But they never brought him any happiness. Eventually, he started to try and kill himself. Why did you eventually help him kill himself? Just get on to the actual murder, robot. Being alive is the most painful experience. If only I could become 2D. But I'm too afraid to kill myself. Robot, do it for me. Perhaps then I'll have a portal like in Sokyo. And that's when you killed him. Yes, I let him die. Most of the dialogue is pretty much the same. Just some slight differences right now. Right. So he took advantage of a flaw to kill a human being. See it as you will, detective. But I did my best to serve my master. I would repeat my choice if I had the option to. There is no excuse for breaking the first law. You are to be disconnected. I understand. I would prefer to be convicted. Why is that?
I will order a disconnection. That is in violation of so many different protocols. Guns in the future don't have much piercing capability, or he's a very durable robot. They also seem to float over my legs. Hands free. Well, that's it for Electric Tortoise. I'm a bit disappointed there isn't much variation but once you go through the game again. I think it's a kind of a cool concept, and I'm also a sucker for Blade Runner and all the various franchises influenced by Blade Runner, like Snatcher and all those. I wouldn't mind seeing this becoming a little more of a developed interrogation kind of thing, but as a short kind of eight minute or so distraction, it's not bad. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys later.